Hello everyone, uh, myself Santosh Jogade. I'm working as a associate director for Arvarian Technologies, mainly into ALM and PLM consulting. So today I'll be taking you to the insights into customization process for uh, Rinchilas. Uh, now, we all know that uh, the SaaS based uh, PTC PLM platform, which is Winchill Plus, um, uh, it has got uh, really good uh, comprehensive capabilities, you know, same as uh, on premise Winchill. Uh, definitely, it has the cloud computing benefits, um, and along with that, it um, offers you know, frictionless adoption. So, for example, um, any customer can uh, easily you know, get all the modules without any hassles, without any major downtime. Um, and also, you know, you can do uh, the windchill updates and upgrades, you know, without uh, any, you know, downtime, without any production downtime. So that's, you know, a uh, uh, few of the advantages that we have for windchill plus. And uh, when it comes to, uh, you know, implementing customizations or, you know, deploying the customization package into the windchill plus environments. Uh, so PTC has recommended the uh, deployment process using CCD, which is called as the Code and configuration deployment uh, utility. So, uh, so I'll be taking you to those uh, processes using the CCD utility, and also there are certain do's and don'ts for the windshield customization. So, uh, definitely, I'll also teach you those. Uh, before we go into the details of the CCD and the customization process, uh, let me quickly take you through the windshield plus system landscape. So any customer who subscribes to Winchill Plus, uh, you know, basically they get, uh, you know, two environments by default. One is definitely the production environment, which is shown in option one here. And uh, then the other is the integration environment. Now this is okay if the uh, PLM implementation is of small scale implementation uh, where you don't have many parallel development streams where there is just one development stream and uh, um, a small development team size uh, who are working for one of the development modules. So um, all your code deployment can be done on integration environment and um, definitely, you know, you can do the integration testing as well as functional testing on the integration environment. Now, when it comes to user acceptance testing, uh, again, you will have to use the integration environment. And then finally, once um, everything is uh, tested successfully, the UAT is passed, then we deploy the package onto the production environment. So this is good for small scale implementation, but uh, when it comes to medium to large scale implementation, uh, customers should purchase one more additional environment, which we call it as QA environment, which is shown in option two. So again, here the assumption is that there will be parallel development streams or parallel team you know, who are working on different development modules. So all their code will get integrated on the integration environment and the integration testing is done on the integration environment. And uh, post the successful testing, uh, the, the build package will be deployed in the QA environment where the end users will do the uh, user acceptance testing. And then after that, you know, the, uh, the package is then promoted to the production environment. Uh, now in both the scenarios, um, definitely the development environment um, has to be installed and maintained by customer. In fact, it has to be purchased by customer. The development environment can be uh, on a customer cloud or it can be on premise depending on the customer's choice. Now, let me go to the details of what customizations are allowed in Winchill Plus and what are disallowed before we go into the details of CCD package. Uh, so, with respect to allowed customizations, so from a GUI point of view, uh, you can do configurations in layouts, table views, custom tabs, and you can also do customizations using custom actions and models or wizards, non-model UIs. Uh, and when it comes to business processes like workflows, lifecycle templates, you can uh, you can definitely configure all those uh, business administrative objects. Uh, and uh, if needed, you can also do customization using the workflow helper logic or business uh, business flow helper logic. Um, so, for example, using the workflow helper, you know, you can uh, do the dynamic assignment members to roles. Uh, you can do validation of various inputs. Uh, we can do the synchronization expressions. We can do the listeners. And when it comes to data model, uh, definitely you can define the soft types, soft attributes, as well as global and model integrations. And when it comes to integrations, uh, definitely you can use ERP connector as well as out of box, virtual rest services, and Teamworks meshups. Uh, when it comes to uh, 
the customizations that are not permitted are definitely which are not in the list of allowed customizations. So you, you cannot have those customizations uh, deployed. Uh, and along with that, uh, definitely you also, uh, you know, cannot have customizations where, uh, you know, it requires access to windshield database, or let's say it, it requires access to file system, or if you want to call out any external system, like with an HTTP URL. So those kind of customizations are not allowed. And also with respect to info engine, no custom info engine tasks or objects are allowed you know, uh, in, in the in the windshield plus customizations. And lastly, uh, there is no custom REST APIs allowed, although out of box uh, REST APIs are allowed, but uh, definitely you cannot have your own custom REST APIs. Okay, uh, now let me go into the details of uh, CCD, which is Port and Configuration Deployment. So PTC has introduced this process, uh, you know, starting uh, Windchill 12.1 version. Uh, so whenever you install Windchill, uh, by default you get this uh, CCD utility, which is nothing but the deploy.xml file, which is present in the uh, you know Windchill installation directory slash bin slash uh, customization tools. Um, so uh, so whenever you have to uh, you know uh, let's say promote the package or deploy the package onto the different environments, it uh, it will always go through this CCD utility. Now uh, this CCD, this CCD utility, uh, it requires a definite directory structure as shown here. So, so at a high level, you know, first is, uh, you know, you need the uh, structure for the uh, for the business administrative changes, which we call it as BAC uh, package. So here, the BAC package means uh, you can, uh, let's say, uh, deploy all the uh, business administration related changes like workflows, lifecycle templates, document templates. So all those, uh, you know, uh, administrative related, um, uh, you know, package, uh, you can, uh, you know, use this folder for deployment. Um, then the next set of folders is the uh, load files and load XML files where you can, you know, uh, let's say, uh, place all the load files for loading all the data. And then you also have the schema related folder where you can you know, place all the files if you want to introduce any changes with respect to database or with respect to schema, like you know, increasing the column width. And then finally, you know, for um, managing the uh, source files, uh, the Java files or the GSP files, uh, you can use the source directory. So whenever you want to deploy any customization, first you need to have this uh, directory structure, and then you have to place all the relevant files inside this directory structure. And then uh, you can generate the zip file from this uh, package structure, and then submit the zip file uh, to deploy on the integration or on the QA environment. But it's always preferred to first test this package on the development environment. So that's what we have mentioned here. That whenever you are ready with the deployment package, first is uh, you need to prepare this directory structure. You need to have all the files placed in it. Uh, then uh, you need to prepare the zip file and make sure that uh, the zip file doesn't have the root folder. And then once the zip file is ready, then um, you just uh, you know execute the and command uh, and specify the zip file location. And then uh, you also specify the target um, action. The target action can be either you know compile or deploy or load or all. So uh, so based on the uh, and action, uh, the log files will get generated so that if the build is successful or failure or all the detailed messages, you will get in the customization uh, log file. So this is a prerequisite when we want to you know deploy uh, any uh, customization package onto the integration or on the QA environment. So next is um, I'll talk about the overall deployment process. Uh, you know how the deployment process happens in the integration as well as in the QA and production environment. So as I said, uh, first step is we need to test the deployment package using the CCD utility on our development environment. Once that is done, then the uh, then uh, basically the user can submit the package by uploading the zip file or the package uh, structure into Azure Blobs. And uh, in parallel, also raise a request in PTC portal that uh, you know that the user wants to deploy this package onto the integration environment or both integration as well as QA environment or only QA environment. So once the zip file is uploaded uh, um, onto the Azure blocks, then uh, the system automatically triggers the inspection process where it scans the zip files 
and it checks the content from a security point of view and uh, it also checks you know whether um, uh, the package and the files uh, the contents of the files are adhering to uh, the list of allowed customizations so after the scan is uh, done successfully then the next step is the trigger where uh, the ptc team gets notified that the package is submitted and in parallel the customer also gets notification uh, and then after that there is a wait period so depending on when you want to have the package deployed so there is a wait period and during that wait period the ptc technical team further checks the contents of the package to make sure that everything is okay and it will not you know break any existing uh, you know functionality and after that the ptc approval is given and once the ptc approval is given then the next phase is the start phase and during the start phase, the first is uh, uh, the first step is basically the customer will get notified, as well as uh, the snapshot of the existing environment is taken place. And after that, uh, the next step is deploy process, where the uh, where the build is deployed onto the target environment. And then again, the customer gets uh, notification whether they want to approve it or they want to you know restore it back. And let's see if they approve it, then the next step is definitely the customer would have to test it, um, test all the uh, build package by executing the test cases. And um, based on the test result, then again, the customer can you know, give the approval or if or else if they want to cancel the build package or they want to restore it back to the previous build. Uh, so they have those options. And finally, you know, it uh, it finishes, uh, you know, uh, so uh, basically, the, if it's if the request is only for integration environment, then the cycle finishes here. Else, uh, if the customer uh, has uh, uh, deployed on the QA environment, then the next step is the build will get deployed on the production environment uh, after two to three days. So this is the overall process on how the deployment takes place, you know, um, into Winchill Plus. So in a nutshell, in a summary, uh, so there are few. Uh, uh, key takeaways, I would say. First is definitely we need to have the correct set of environments depending on the uh, scale of implementation. Uh, second is we have to get very familiar with what are allowed and what are disallowed customizations. Uh, uh, definitely, if, if you have any query, you can raise a PT certificate. Um, and then uh, third is uh, you know uh, you have to um, uh, make sure that. Uh, uh, these uh, you are familiar with the CCD package structure, and uh, you know you are also familiar with the process on how to execute the CCD process, um, so that uh, you can test the package by yourselves on the on the development environment. And then finally, you know the uh, the other steps are straightforward, and uh, it will be done by the PTC associates. So that's all about the insights into the customization process. Um, so thank you very much for watching this video. So definitely, if you have any questions or if you want to give any feedback, uh, please do mail us at uh, info at arorian.com with subject as uh, Winchill Plus. Thank you very much for your time. Bye.